Hello everyone, welcome once again to our step by step Looker Studio tutorial for beginners. In this video, we are learning about how and when to create a line chart. So, a line chart or line graphs are used to track changes over short and long period of time. When a smaller changes exist, line graphs are better to use than bar graphs. Line graphs can also be used to compare changes over the same period of time for more than one group. That is the most important thing. So for example, let's see an example here. This is a sample Google Analytics report. It is analyzing data of a website. And for this particular website, within this period of time from December 14 to January 12, we can also change date. Let's say we change November. If you will apply, so you will see that this data will change. And now you can see that for this period of time, you can see this dark green line representing how are site sessions trending. Like what is the number of sessions here? And this light green line is a compare is comparison of sessions with sessions of previous 73 days because we have selected 73 days range here. That's why this. Now we are discussing this sample superstore sales data. This is data of sales of a trading company for more than four years from 2014 to 2017. And let's say we want to analyze what was the sale for each year. Okay. You can analyze what was the sale for each year. So as we, we have 2014, 15, 16 and 17. So what was the sale for each year? We, we have to analyze that. So and one simple thing to remember is whenever there is date or some continuous measure available to you then you can put it on x axis that is the independent axis and then so that's why mostly any variable of time or date is put on the x axis and on the y axis you will choose some metric so let's try this so in our sales dashboard that we have built this dashboard so far uh, so if you have not watched the previous videos, I will request you to watch all those videos. But again, if you are just interested in learning line charts, so you can continue this video as well. So now here what you can do is, in order to create a line chart, we will first add a chart. Here you can see we have a time series chart, we have a spark line chart and we have a smooth time series chart. Here you can see we have vertical values and we have a smooth value. So this is a smooth curve and this is a sparkling chart which is most suited for again suppose you are doing some stock data analysis so you can choose this option. Here also you can see in this case uh, this time series chart has been selected. So first let's select this and put this here. We can drag it around. We will resize and style it later. But once we have selected here, you can see we don't have any dimension that that can be valid for a line chart because in our data set we do have order date and ship date. These are dates. But here you can see that let's go to order date. Here you can see. Looker Studio is not able to recognize it as a date. So here you can see uh, invalid dimension. Although we have date, so let's try and drag this date to dimension. And when you will drag this date to dimension, you will see. So here it is still A, B, C. Let's try to change. And here you can see we have text, 
geo url everything is there but date and time is not there so even as the data is in correct format it is not showing so first again get rid of this and just select order date so and drag it here and let's see what tableau oh, sorry, sorry what luca studio shows here you can see the date is in this format if it is not visible so i will make the font color big the font uh, size big i have habit of teaching different tools so sometimes tableau is coming more often so now in look at history you can see even though our column is in perfect date format but it is not letting us convert it to a particular date so let's uh, add a chart once more and add a chart here let's add this date to dimension order date so other way is to do this and change abc to date but still you can see you don't have date okay this is where you can although whatever your data type is but in your columns your data type will be something different but here you can see the data type can be changed so this will be used for type casting but we don't have this available so now what we can do is we can try another thing here let's get rid of this here you can see a plus sign to add a field okay we will click and we will create add calculated field and when we will click add calculated field you will see we have these available fields so we will choose order date and now we have this what will be the field name let's call it dt order date so i am calling it as dt order date and this is field id we will let it be and here we have order date written so what we can do is we can write our formula like this so we will use a formula like parse date and here you can see it converts text to a date so this particular formula here can be used to create a calculated field and it will convert text to date in parse date the format is like this and here we have to put the name of field which is order date in our case so first let's delete this and we'll drag the exact name and our date is not in this format so if you are doing sales analysis so check in which format your date is so it is dmy for us so it is dmy remember d and m are small so d m and y is capital this now yeah, let's click done and you can see that field is available here if somehow you are not able to see this field so while adding a field while let's say you are adding a field a calculated field here because we can do the same for shape date so dt underscore shaped date and formula will be the same parse date d m and y for this you have to check your data and you will find various uh, i will share a link to a, a particular tutorial where you will have all different type of parse date options available if your date is in different time formats here remove this field search for ship date drag it here format formula don't forget to save 
once you will click save now your field will be available there you can see dt order date it is shifting and now in the date range dimension i will put dt order date which will give me so let's refresh the report and let's try once again so select this data we have dt order date now available here and now you can see a line chart so now this is a line chart but again this line chart is for four years and that's why it is appearing like this which is obviously it, it is giving us information for every date what was the total number of sales or what is the total amount of sales on that date as you can see on certain date it is very high but we wanted to see it for a uh, we want to see it for years like what was in january what was in 2014 then 15 then 16 and 17 you might also want to show it for quarters for so in every year there will be four quarters and so you will show it for every quarters of every year so let's do that so now here click on this whenever you have to change the data type or when you have to whenever you have to change any aggregation click here click date click on date and time and you can see either year year quarter year month date hour date hour minute or simply quarter simply month so in this you will see year and quarter both this is like a continuous value and here you will see only quarter this is a summarized version so Again, I will show both examples. In this example, we will select year, and here you can see how sales varied from year to year. Now let's select, and here you are seeing all the years. Okay. Now let's select year quarter. So this is yearly quarter wise sales. Now many students might be wondering what is this year quarter and what is difference between quarter. So overall no matter how much data we have or how many years we have there will always be four quarters. So if you want to summarize or aggregate sum of sales in four quarters you will choose this. So it will show you only four quarters like overall in all the years combined in quarter one what is the sale in quarter two what is the sale in quarter three in quarter four so you can see overall we have most sales in quarter four so this is more summarized version so here again aggregated similarly for months so it will show you 12 months okay for all 12 months what is the aggregate sum of sales because no matter how many years we have we will have only 12 months but if you want to see year wise and month wise then you have to select this so this is year wise and month wise sales so we will select this option like for every year for every month so whenever you will navigate to any particular point here you will see the value and let's uh, let's try to filter let's try to select binders so now you will see this is showing us all total count of orders of binders of category total uh, sales of binders total profit and and we can see in here december 2016 we had most number of sales for binders so this is how you can filter the data and this is how we can create a line chart if you want to add one more dimension here so you can see because currently we have only one other dimension available so what we can do is we can drag this also here and then you will see like this but we will show more meaningful data of how to put two dates together since this is just a starting of the tutorial so here we have 
these basic things to understand and these basic things to learn. When you will learn all these basic things, then we can go to the advanced parts. So I hope you understood this. Now you can see here in our original data, let me show. So you can see here, although it is an area chart, but consider it's a line chart. So in here you can see region as legend. Okay. So we can currently it is showing one line because it is just sales, monthly sales for all the years. Okay. But here you can see breakdown dimension. Metric is going to be sales, but in breakdown dimension, we can take a categorical column also. And that's why we can take region as well. And then it will show you like this. We can obviously drag it and make it make its width of two columns to understand it in a better way. So see how you can analyze this data. So as we have to put more visuals over here, we are just putting it like this. And we we can remove the region from here. But we are not going to remove it right now. We can do it later. And now in the next video, you will learn how to create a map visual like this. So stay tuned to this tutorial. See you in the next video.